Good morning, it's a bright sunny day here in Monument, Colorado, and today I'm going to be installing this. It's a Progressive Industries electrical management system. Uh, we got the 50 amp version because we do have a 50 amp service, and we'll just open this up and take a look and see what's inside. We have the instruction manual and the actual unit itself. For shipping, they've actually included everything that you need for installation inside. The face of this gives you all the error codes listed on this side and you know just other general warnings and standard electrical stuff. So in this little baggie is a bypass switch. This is an oh, it's actually a bypass and the, the remote display. And then this is the data cable that will connect to. A little bit of hardware, additional screws for the lid, crimp rings, ground screws. And then in here we have the actual sensors. I can get into it. And each of these hooks onto one of the wires. Uh, one, of the, one goes on the red and one goes on the black and that's these are the things that actually do the testing of the circuit. Something very important to this whole process but I don't want to kill myself. Turn off the breaker, pull the plug. It's a 30 amp plug and 50 amp service. So I'm actually gonna take the dog bones with me so that nobody can plug in while I am not paying attention. Safety first, folks. So the transfer switch cover is plastic. So maybe my worries about the EMS being plastic or unfounded. And it just clamps on. It doesn't it doesn't even screw on. But we have Incoming line labeled power cord. We've got the generator line and the control panel. So this is the control panel is the main breaker panel inside the RV. We don't have the generator. We just have the prep. So I have no problem taking that off right now. Uh, I might be able to use this wire as my feed into the power cord line. Now I've got to go to the other side and disconnect the junction box for the generator. Here we go. And that should be plenty to make my turns. Now, I'm just going to the input power line because that's going to go over to the EMS.
the red and the black go on the outside terminals, the white goes in the middle, and then the ground is going to connect to a screw on the side. Again, taking the marked one and the arrow side facing the relay. Thread that on. So again, arrow side right there faces the relay. This is the screw. That's snug. Now, ground wire says if it's stranded, then you would use one of these crimp terminals. But since we're not stranded, we can just wrap the uh, wire straight around the ground terminal. So I noticed something just now going to make mounting this a little bit challenging is the screw hole for the other mounting tab is here. So these are kind of off angle from where I feel that they should be able to be. So I want to see if I can actually rotate this clamp out of the way so I can get a screw solid into that hole. Now I have a clear shot to that screw. black plastic will go here. I'll be able to round around it. And I will be able to get my wires in the bottom. Now, you want to make sure that you're aligning your wires to the correct place. Each wire needs to go to its match. There's a note that says, even make sure that your red goes to your red, your black goes to your black. You shouldn't swap those. Regardless of the purpose, that's what I'm going to do, because I don't want to mess up.
continuity's sake. I'm going to do the same thing. Match the black to the black, the red to the red, the white to the white. You know, keep that consistent color pattern that's going on there. And I'm not putting all the screws in just yet while I test this. I just want it protected so that uh, if the kids come around or whatever. There we go. I'm going to go plug in and flip the power pedestal breaker on. All right, so that's in the bypass state. 120 volts. No errors. Now for the final installation of this panel, I think it's gonna be wise to have it where I can actually see it when I'm on the utility side. Turn off the power, disconnected this. And
I'm going to take this cover off. So something to note is that the uh, plug for that cord is on the bottom. So I'm going to mount this on this side, but the hole's going to be below it, and then I'll zip tie it across so that it's nice and flush against here. Your delay, here's your voltage, and one of those tests. There you go. Well, that's all for the install, the uh, hardwired version of the Progressive Industries EMS. I know that's not going to be for everybody. Uh, put a link down to their website below. They do have 30 amp versions of the same, which, which I have with the remote display. They have one with a built-in display. And they also have dog bone style uh, EMS units that plug into your power pedestal and then you plug your rig into that, as well as standard surge, surge protectors. So, I mean, they've got a lot of choices for you, and if you're looking for protection for your RV, I think they have a great product. Again, I'm Todd from the Alcohol Free RV, and we'll be, see you soon with more mods, upgrades, and adventures and repairs along the way. See you next time.